So this mold is set, and so is this one. So I'm gonna demold them now. Try not to completely destroy the molds if I can. It's not a bad mold, it's not a perfect mold. There's a tiny air bubble here. And it's not completely filled the eye socket, which is an air bubble. There's also the big air bubble on the back there. So but, you know, this is technically about the first proper mold that I've made, so um Yeah, that's how you make a mold anyway. That's basically. So I'm going to drill the hole through there for, to let the air out anyway. And then I'm going to put another hole to do the pour in just here. So, yeah. You know, it's not too good with the things on the back and the eye not working right. But, like I say, as a first mold, it's, it's not terrible. And obviously, like it, it takes practice. So, getting a good pour and getting the model in the right orientation to get a good mold first time around it is pretty difficult. Um, yeah, I mean, you could sort of fix. You can't fix this, but you could fix some of the other problems. I'm just thinking it might be possible to repair this. At the same time, you could just grind these off because they are on the back, so you could just use the Dremel to grind those off. But like I say, the eye at the front, that's a bit buggered, but whether or not it's re worth recasting the top half again. I 
let's take a look at the flame. Touching the side here. <laughs> it's actually done a perfect cast. There's that air hole, and we need to make a bigger hole to pull. I'll make that a little bit bigger. hole to pour through.
So this hot plate thing isn't on. It's just to protect my desk and if anything rolls off the edge because of my shaky hands then it won't be a total disaster. Mm -hmm. He says. It takes up quite a bit of heat to fill that up. And that is done. I don't know how it's going to turn out. I can hear a lot of cracking and creaking and stuff. I think I needed to have this mould squeezed together more tightly. Yeah. It definitely needs, it needs to be clamped. Yeah, so I need to just get two pieces of board so that I can put them in between and sandwich the clamps. And that's just going to hold it together really nice and tight because this definitely gave a little bit with the, the heat of the metal. That was the shakiest thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> but then again, I don't play with molten metal, and then something tells me you don't want to be getting this on your hands or anything. So, so I'm either going to chop this into two squares or I'm going to get some board or some reinforced card that's really really thick this type of stuff so I'll probably use two strips of this to hold it and clamp tight and that's all it is it's just would be better if it's held together tighter as you can see here, it's actually starting to melt. And that's the heat coming through the rubber. So. Uh, 
I'm just checking. <laughs> just up and open pure, just pull it out. So the reason why this mold deformed slightly and, and got a, a gap in it is because of the heat. But we do still have a minor tool head. A mythosol, sorry. <laughs> That's cool. So there's where it went wrong on his eye. That's so cool. I know it don't look too shiny or anything like that, but this is where you get the Dremel bit, so these sort of tools to clean it up. You should also powder the inside of the mould with some talcum powder, and that gives you much better results. But I can't believe how it's caught all the details, it's amazing. And it'll be all shiny like this, bottom part, once it's once it if I would, if I cleaned it up properly. And these bits on the top, you will dremel them off, but before you dremel them you'd obviously have to clean them up a little bit, so get rid of the big chunk. I can't waste that, that's money. <laughs> yeah, I think I need to get some better nips. Yep, <laughs> bend it. So now you would obviously just clean this up and drill a little hole into the top. Insert the keyring thing and have it epoxied in place and you've got a funky ass mythosaur solid pewter keyring and it's heavy as well man <laughs> so on mugs you could always just like pull out your keyring and slap them around <laughs> slap them about with it oh that's cool I like that this is fun what can I do next I'm going to recast this I want to find my, my chunk of pewter because it's not actually expensive but that's too low so that's about six, I don't know, about four pounds worth of pewter maybe, something like that in here, maybe more. But that is cool as shit. <laughs> Fantastic. So yeah, I'm going to remake a mould of this and I'm also going to use what's left over from that mould to put in this one and get ready to do the Samurai. I can't wait to do that one. Well, I'm actually not looking that much, not looking that forward to it because it uses a lot of material and I'm only going to get one chance at this. So. So yeah, I will start making another mould. I'll put this to one side. It's nice and cool now. So yeah, again, no, no nothing complicated. Just a cheap blowtorch off. I think it was off Amazon. Like I said, it was about five pounds or something. And twelve pound, twelve pounds worth of pewter. and 30 pounds worth of molding solution and like I say I, 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 you can get away with not clamping this together because it has held together perfect there's no seam so it hasn't poured out the edges or anything like that which I thought it had because of the it had made the mold sort of move a little bit 
and the, the bit on the top as you can see there's not much there that will that will dremel off really easy with the grinding tools yeah super impressed So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that mess um, and I'm probably going to make a better video on this when I'm not so shaky and I've got the hang of it a little bit more. But like I say, it's, it's a bit daunting working with liquid metal in your house um, and I have burnt my house down in, in, in a big fireball explosion that almost killed me and yeah, playing around with molten metal, you know, kind of brings back bad memories. <laughs> But anyway, um, yeah, I'll catch you later.